Hey, this is Scott Hanselman. I thought I'd do just a couple more five or ten minute how to use Word videos. If you haven't seen them before, I would encourage you to explore the playlist on this YouTube channel, specifically the most popular one, which is how to use tabs and spaces in Word. In this one, I'm going to talk briefly about headers and footers uh, in large documents. A lot of people get confused about how headers work. Uh, and I think if you take the spaces and tabs information, as well as tab stops that you learned from the previous video, it could potentially help you here when dealing with headers. So let's do this for a second. We are in Word. All I've done is I've said new and I've made a blank document. So I have a document. I'm just going to hold down control and scroll with my mouse. So I've got my finger on the control key and I'm control scrolling. That's how I do my zooming in and out. And I'm going to just drop a bunch of text here. So I'm going to go to a, a lorem ipsum generator and I need a lot of text. So we'll do like 30 paragraphs of Heisenberg Ipsum. There we go. Now I'm going to scroll out. I've got four pages here. And let me make that even more. So I've got eight pages of text, you know, a reasonably sized document. And again, I'm moving around very nicely by hitting control and scroll. And I like to turn on paragraph marks. You see that right there? Paragraph marks let you see your tabs and your spaces. We'll talk about centering and why you shouldn't do that a little bit later. Perhaps in another video, uh, you should also take a look at the tabs versus spaces YouTube that I did before. But let's add a header to this document, all right? So we'll say insert header. You can just hit this button and then you'll get these different options. They make it a little complicated. You might have a different version of Word. The general idea is there. I'm going to hit blank three columns because I want to show you something more than blank. We'll just take these two apart. But let's hit blank, blank. Notice that all the text went gray. This is important. It's subtle, but it's important. And this toolbar here, this, this is tab bar in Word, has added header and footer tools. Now if I click close header and footer, the header is gray and the words are black. So right now I'm in editing the document mode, okay? But if I double click on the header, watch what happens, okay? Watch up here. These are the main menus. That's the header context menu. You can't get these menus to show up unless you are looking at the header. So you're switching between these two modes. Same thing applies for the footer, all right? Now, if I start typing something here, tab, something else here, tab, something else here, that's three column mode. This is left aligned, of course, because that's where we started. Then I hit tab. This is a center tab. Watch. You see that? That center tab controls where this shows up. What you don't want to do is this. You're never going to be precise if you do that. What's also nice if you use your center tab like that, let me put it right in the center, is if I happened to go and say layout orientation, and I'm going to rotate this whole thing into landscape, okay? I can now grab my tabs, see, and I can make a change. Now if we zoom out, you see this here? You see how I've got all these pages? I'm going to grab that center tab. Watch. See how we're changing everything? All the headers change. The header is a template. It's a live template there that we're able to make changes to. So I'm going to actually close that. I'm going to go back to layout, put it back to portrait. Now I'm not expecting you to be able to read that text. It's small. What I want you to understand though is that the header is live and is everywhere. So this is everyone's header. Okay. Now let's do this. I'm going to select this text. I'm going to hit control A. Notice that I hit control A. It only selects one of the headers. It doesn't select all of the document because again, the headers are live. If I type something here, it appears in the other headers. And we are in header mode, so hitting control A to select all doesn't select the document, only selects the information in the header. I'll go here 
and we'll change our casing. Okay, we'll make it uppercase or capitalize each word or toggle the case. That changes it everywhere. Okay, so let's make it uppercase and we'll make it bold. I'm going to zoom out here now to give you a sense of everything changing. Now watch, we're going to hit design and I'm going to say different odd and even pages. Look, here's your odd page header. That's page one. Here's page two. This is a new item. This is centered. This is right aligned. So now this could be, for example, the left side of my page. If I was going to print this as a book, this could be the right. This is the odd page header. This is the even. It's all controlled by that checkbox. All right. So for example, something here, right, could become the page number. Right. And I could go and say insert page number. Now you notice if I click that, it's going to change the header. It removed all that customization that I did. So I'm just going to say insert current position rather than top of page. And then over here on my odd page, I'll say insert. And then we could say plain number. And because it's right aligned, look, you can imagine this as a book like this, right? I've got one here and two there. And then if I scroll out, one, two, three, four, nice and clean. Now I could come back over here. I could say different first page. So I've still got odd and even, but I've got first page. This is the header for just the first page. I've got full control of my formatting. Here's your first page header. Again, I go back here and I close. Here is an even page header, and here are the odds. So you have full control of what's going on in here. You can do all kinds of crazy stuff. Now, I want to just remind you again, I'm double clicking in and out. Sometimes what will happen is people will get inside the header. It'll turn gray. You can see that everything's turned gray. They'll move away from this tab, and they'll forget they're in header mode. And they, they're like, what's going on? Look, hear me clicking? I can double click and that will take me out of header mode. All right. And again, remember, paragraph marks are your friends. It lets you know what's going on. So that is a brief sense of what you can do with headers. Be sure to explore this design uh, tab within header tools. And just a reminder, of course, go to footer. Same thing applies. First page footer, even page footer. You get to control this as much as you want. And there's all kinds of cool auto texts and things that you could potentially add if you wanted to. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube and check out my other how to really use word videos. Thanks.